Hello everyone, my name is Kurt Rasmussen. Today I would like to discuss with you the multi-leader feature of AutoCAD. Today I'm using AutoCAD 2011, but this is in older versions, I believe way back to 2008. I want to point out the multi-leader tool because generally people assume that it's just used for multiple leaders. We can use it just for single leaders, and one of the benefits is you can control it with the same style. So I'm going to point that out today. Right here we're on the home tab and we see under the annotation that multi-leader is one of the options here. We can also go under the annotate tab and we see that there's a whole area here of the multi-leader feature. Let's just start and this is just for demonstration purposes but I'm going to point at the center line of this road. I'm going to pull my leader line out to here and it's asking for me to key in some text. I'm just going to name it existing center line. Now we notice here that if we do move this line for whatever reason that the leader moves with it. We also have another center line over here that maybe we want to add another leader line to it. That's where I'm going to use this tool, add leader. In the lower left corner, it, it asks us to select the multi-leader. I'm going to choose this and then specify leader arrowhead location. I'm going to point that down here and accept that. We see once again, if I move my note, that the arrows still stay where they're connected. If I was to move this center line, the arrow would also stay connected. And let's say that even I could add another one over here, select my multi-leader, point down to here, and we now have three arrows. If I was to move this to the other side of the roadway, we see that it will divide up to split the difference, or if I come over more, it'll connect them all from the right side. Justification, uh, we'll move around with your text. I'm going to come in and remove one of these leaders. I hit remove. It says select multi-leader. I'm going to choose that. It says select leader to remove. I can choose this one and accept it. Next we're going to add just a single leader. The arrowhead location. I'm going to put this to the midpoint of this arc. I'm going to come up here and say just EOP for edge of pavement. Now we notice here we have leaders crossing. There's a key in you can use called dim break. It's also part of your dimension toolbar, which is right here. In the lower left corner, it says select dimension to add the break to. I add it there. We notice here that it automatically broke that line. If I was to move this object over this way, it will still continue to break that line. And if I move it actually closer, it will unbreak the line since it already has that break feature attached to it I can once again come up and it will break the line for me. Uh, that's kind of a nice tool part of the dimension feature. Uh, it also works with objects. Uh, let's say that I pull this over um, and I want to tell it to break it at that line. I'm going to come in my dimension tool. I'm going to pick this and we see now that it broke it at that edge of pavement line where it was crossing. The final feature I'm going to show you is to align your tools or your notes. Um, I'm just going to call this sample text. And let's add another note over here. more sample text. Oh, sample spelled wrong. We see that we have the dictionary. And I'm going to add just one more note down here for this demonstration. Okay, now this text is not aligned. What I'm going to do is choose this tool which says align it says select multi-leaders so I'm gonna select all these multi-leaders and it says select multi-leader to align to 
I'm going to pick this one. Um, if we turn our F8 on for ortho, it will allow us to lock into a straight vertical mode. And when I accept that, it lined up all of them. Now I could see this same feature um, if you wanted to align text more on an angle. I could shut the ortho off. Maybe you want to come along some text that's already there and we can see now it'll put it on an angle. Uh, this is nice for some right-of-way things where you need to put multiple leaders outside but you still want to keep them partially aligned. This concludes my demonstration for multi-leaders.